AH-1 Cobra. Manufacturer, Bell Helicopter. Type, Attack Helicopter. Power Plant, two General Electric T-700 GE-401 turboshafts. Principal armament, one M197 three-barrel 20mm gun. 16 Hellfire anti-tank missiles, 76 70mm folding fin aerial rockets. Maximum cruising speed, 173 miles per hour. In January 1965, Bell invested heavily on a prototype for a radically new chopper. Taking the proven transmission, rotor system and the turbo shaft of the Huey UH-1, they designed a tandem seat helicopter that had only one thing on its mind, all-out attack. The Cobra is the granddaddy of the attack helicopter. It is the, the, the first idea that someone said, hey, these helicopters are pretty cool. Let's put lots of guns on them and use them to shoot people. And the Cobra was designed for that task. Like a Western gunslinger, it was slim at the hips and fast on the draw. It had a unique uh, tandem seating arrangement, a pilot and a gunner, front and back seat. Uh, this made the aircraft extremely narrow. Therefore, it was pretty hard to hit and pretty hard to see uh, in a high altitude dive. The Cobra went into full production just as the war in Vietnam was expanding. The need for closer air support for troops on the ground had become a priority, and the AH-1 would be flying straight into battle. The unit I was in, aerial rocket artillery, uh, we were a uh, extension of the field artillery. What we were responsible for was direct fire in support of the infantry on the ground, just as a, a cannon artillery might do, except we could fire very, very close, up to 50 meters from the front line trace of the soldiers on the ground. By getting close to the enemy, the Cobra was able to make full use of its weaponry. A 20 millimeter cannon tore holes through the jungle canopy and its rocket pods were capable of taking out vehicles and entrenched positions. A lot of American soldiers viewed these things reverentially. These were avenging angels. Uh, you go into a, into a, into a hot LZ and you're, you're screwed. But all of a sudden, out of nowhere, comes this machine that can just wipe out everything in the jungle outside of you. All those nasty things that are scaring you and making your life very, very difficult. But if Cobra pilots were snake charmers who learned to love its speed, stealth, and lethal bite, they also came to respect the airframe as one which would take them into tough situations and get them back out again. It just blended with me. Uh, it was easy to operate. It was dependable. It could stay airborne for a long time. I felt like I understood every aspect of that aircraft. Upgrades and improvements in recent years have kept the aircraft up with the latest developments in engine technology, fire control systems, thermal imaging, and infrared countermeasures. Now known as the Super Cobra, it can be armed with Hellfire, Sidearm, or Sidewinder missiles. It changed what we did. It showed us the value of having a dedicated aircraft that you can't all distinguished visitors in, but you can't go pick up mail in. It's just going to go out there and do one purpose, to support the American fighting infantrymen. As a dedicated attack helicopter, the Cobra scores low in versatility and only average marks for innovation and survivability. But with a service length of over 30 years and a fear factor that's up there with the best of them, the Cobra ranks fourth in our list.